Hey, welcome back and happy Thanksgiving. So many of you may be in the kitchen finishing up perhaps those last minute dinners. So we thought, how about a dessert segment by a master cookie artist? Yeah, it's always yeah. good to jump to the dessert immediately. Yes. Uh, Laurel Jacobs, better known as the Cheerful Baker, is here to tell us more about her upcoming appearance yeah. on the Food Network's Christmas Cookie Challenge. Thanks How you doing? Coming. Thank you. I'm doing great. We love the cheerfulness that uh, is uplifting <laughs> all as all get out. So yes. tell us about your background a little bit. You've got a, 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 a physical store as well, right? Well, actually, I do it out of my home. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm a little cookie company that, I got you. in Versailles, Kentucky, and I started out sitting on the counter with my mom when I was little. I loved to bake. Uh -huh. And then um, I've had lots of different jobs. I was a sales rep for American Greetings. And then when my kids were born, I wanted to stay home. And so I actually ended up getting a little job as an art teacher. And oh. through that, realized mm -hmm. my love of, of painting and then decided that I wanted to translate that into cookie decorating. So now yeah. I paint with things that you can eat. So it's great. <laughs> this is, I mean, you are a legit artist. And when you take a look at some of these like intricate designs on these cookies, I just love it. I mean, you can tell just how talented you are in all of this. But um, even more testament, you have an appearance on the Food Network that's coming up. So how did you get involved with the show? You know, it's the craziest thing. They actually contacted me through Instagram. Wow. And I thought it was a hoax. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, is this I was going to say, sad that it's come to I that, know. but uh, in reality, <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. I know, they said, have you ever considered trying out for the Christmas cookie challenge? Would you be willing to talk to us? And I said, oh, yeah, sure. You know, I'm thinking, ha, 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 yeah. Yeah. joke's on me. But, but so I talked with them, and then um, I got this very official-looking email. Yeah, I was just going to say, at what point did you realize, <laughs> okay, they're not messing around. This is completely legit. Yeah. After the really fun, lots of laughter conversation that I had with the yeah. talent agent um, and so I thought hey this is a great opportunity and I went through a lot of interviews and I couldn't I still cannot believe that it happened oh my gosh uh, are there any like little sneak peeks or anything you can tell us because I know this is coming up right in December when it's gonna air it is and you know it's so funny because I love to talk but I have been keeping a secret Ooh, they're sure. like you can yeah. yeah. anything you cannot the only thing I can probably say mm -hmm. is that um, I created a recipe for the show and Reed Drummond loved it. Oh, and for me, that was huge because I've watched her on the Food Network yeah. for years. So that was for me the highlight. Well, and the awesome. other thing is, having watched a lot of different things on Food Network, mm -hmm. you clearly have the disposition for it because <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. you, you almost have to go in with a positive attitude because there always seems Cheerful, to be a lot of drama. Yeah. Yes, things, so. that's right. Yeah. I just thought, hey, this is a great opportunity. I'm going to go and try and let my light shine and have fun, and it'll be a great story for my kids to be able to tell their kids someday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where do you go from all this? I mean, you've got an appearance on the Food Network, and then you've got, you know, your storefront. What's next for you? You know, I don't know. I just try and take life one day at a time, and... I mean, we'll see. I love teaching classes, so that's what I'm focusing on yeah. now. Um, you know, a lot of people want to learn the art of cookie decorating. Oh, yes. And because I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you. Here we go. But because of my background in, in art teaching, mm -hmm. teaching art, I, I've translated that to be able to teach people how to decorate cookies. Awesome. So I, I do classes at the um, winery and for sales, Wild Side Winery. Okay. And you get wine and cookies, and those go great together. So win win. <laughs> yeah, there you go. go. Yeah, so I guess that's what's next is just focus seem more on teaching others to do what I do. So real quick ballpark, I mean how, how long does it take you yes. to just one make these. one of these? I know it varies by detail mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. a long time. <laughs> like I can well, imagine. I mean I can tell that just <laughs> yeah. by looking at it. I mean they're so beautiful. Thank you. I mean some designs take 15 minutes, mm -hmm. some designs take two hours. It just really depends on the intricacy wow. of the yeah. design. Yeah. You have patience. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah, mine is like slapping on some frosting and calling it a day. That's awesome. Immaculate. Oh. All right, Thank if people you. want some more information about you, maybe they want to see any of your designs and creation subscriptions, where can they find all that? You can go to my website, which is cheerfulcutters.com, or you can find me on Instagram. I love Instagram because the more followers I get, the cooler my kids think I am. Aww. So follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm Love the it. cheerful baker on Instagram. Perfect. Well, thank you so much yeah, for, coming for coming in. in. We Thank you. Thanks for having me. Happy Thanksgiving. We've got dessert.